Well, hello, YouTubers. So, um, right now I want to talk to you about uh, implementing uh, methods uh, or functions in a class. Um, if you have been watching the videos, uh, my last video I created a class called Book. I modified a little bit uh, offline um, so then we can work with the sample. Um, I not I don't only want to show you how to implement a function, but I also I want to prove a point. So let me jump back to the form really quick here. Um, let's say during the uh, during the load, I'm going to create two objects here. New book, um, and also I'm going to create new book one. So I have two objects in there, and let me set some of the properties in here. So I'm going to say that new book dot author name equals John Doe and then I'm going to say that new book dot book name equals C sharp 2008 and then new book new book dot release date whatever right uh, new book dot release date 12 I don't know, 1201, uh, 2007, or 2008, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's say that we have that object, and then let's do the same thing here for our other book. This is one, 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 and then let's do this. Mary John, uh, 2010, doesn't matter. Okay. So now, so now we have a few of our uh, class members set up. Now, what if I want to print this information in a text box? What do I have to do? I have to create a text box. So message box that just, just, just stay with me here for a little bit. And then what I would do, I would do book name or just book plus then my object name, right? New book dot author name. And then if I want to put uh, if, I want, if I want to put a, a new line, then I put new line in there. And then uh, this is author. And then I call book plus new book dot book name. And then last but not least, then the release date. New book dot release date. So if now if I run this, well let me go ahead and put this into let me put this right here in the uh, button event and let me move those two guys right here to the main form. Okay, so what's going on here? Hopefully you understand this. So when the form is initialized, it creates two, two objects, one called new book, one called new book one. During the form load event, uh, those objects, new book, gets loaded with some information, uh, new book and new book one. And then when I press the button one, uh, I'm supposed to get a, a message box giving me the information about new book. Okay, so let me go ahead and start the form. And then when I click button, then I get a pop-up box that gives me the information about it. Um, now, the problem is that if I want the same thing for new book one, I would have to create another one of these. Right? Do you agree with me? I created message box one. I created the first message box. Then I have to create another message box here. And then when I click, now I'm going to get two message boxes, this one and now the next one. You see how we're duplicating code here? We're actually we're creating this one, and then we have to create another one, and then we have to worry about the name of the objects and so on. This is when, uh, this is when it's very useful to create uh, methods uh, or functions in the class, and then they become methods. So let's go ahead and then let's copy. Let, let me copy one of these right here. I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to go back to my book in here. And then... This is the code, right? This is the main code. But let me create a function here. Let's say I'm going to call a public 
public void. Uh, public is the scope of the function, right? So it's going to be accessible to all the objects that uh, of type book. Uh, void is what's going to return. It's going to return nothing. It's just going to display something. Uh, let's call it get details. And then let's open it and close it. Of course, book one doesn't exist. So in this case, we're going to use the keyword this, which means that whichever object whichever object calls this, the, the get detail, uh, it's going to be the object dot author name, the object dot book, the object dot release date. And so now on the form, instead of having this right here, I'm just going to call new book dot get details. And I'm going to do the same for the next book, new book one dot get details. See how we're avoiding duplicating all that code? Let me go ahead and run this really quick. See if we get the same the same result. I'm going to click click button one and there you go. That's my first message box and there's my second message box. Because I call the the get details method for both of the objects. Okay? Um, another quick thing to if you want to know where this is stored for some reason you, you don't know where it is you can always click the method and right click it and then you can go to go definition it takes you uh, right over there so I hope that this was useful um, but let's go ahead and create another another function here and in this function we're actually going to pass some parameters so uh, let me go ahead and copy this really quick and then get details I'm gonna get I'm gonna call it one get um, uh, age. We're going to get the age of the book and uh, we're going to pass here a string uh, release date release date and we're going to go ahead and then uh, we're going to display a message box with the uh, with the number of days since its release. Okay. Okay, so I just had to uh, work this out really quick. So uh, I, I did it offline. Um, what I what I did here, I'm still I'm still in the book class, and I created a new method here called age, and I'm asking for a parameter, and the, this parameter is going to be release date. So I'm going to ask I'm going to ask whoever's trying to use this method to give me the release date, and then in here I'm just working out the code to uh, subtract the release date until today's date that they, they're asking for and know the difference between those two. Um, so I'm not, there's no need to go into details here, but pretty much I'm going to, uh, the end result is going to be a message box that gives me the number of days between today and the day that the book was released. Um, but if you want, if you want, regardless of this, regardless of that, if you want to create a, um, if you want to create a, met, uh, a function that needs a parameter in here, uh, you need to add that parameter, so you need you need to make that call. So I'm asking for a string, and I'm calling the string release date, um, and then I'm gonna use that as a variable inside my method. I hope this is not too confusing. If if it's confusing, just ask me a question. So let's go back to the form, and then in here, I'm gonna go ahead and use my object, new book dot, and then I have that method available now. Get age. Uh, if I try to implement it this way, it's not gonna like it. Uh, let me go ahead and then. Uh, try to run and it's gonna say that I can't run it because this method is overloaded there's no method that takes no parameters so when you look in here it's asking for a release date so new book and then I'm gonna do new book dot release date and then that should give me how give me how old the book is so let me go ahead and run it click button and the book is 430 days old uh, if the release date was this if the if the book was released yesterday so 0 to 26 if the book was released yesterday and I try to run that again it's gonna tell me the book is 720 uh, 32 days old wow, there's something wrong with my code oh actually I didn't change the date to 2010 right so that was actually right so let's go ahead and try that one more time run and the book is one day old okay so hopefully you understand uh, methods now uh, simple methods and overloaded methods um, maybe I should do a video not in class not not in classes but just about 
uh, functions and methods later on. Um, give me some feedback. Uh, rate the video. I don't know if this one came out very clear, but rate the video, ask questions, and uh, help me to help you. Okay, thanks for